Soap Suds and Love Joy. Once upon a time, there was a donkey called Lovejoy who worked for a laundryman called Soap Suds. Every day, this donkey staggered around a certain village dragging a cart to deliver clean clothing and other laundered items. Even though Soap Suds worked his hands to the bone, he still was so poor he could not afford to feed his donkey properly. So although Soap Suds loved Lovejoy to bits, the donkey was as skinny as a toothpick and frail to boot. The laundryman despaired of finding a way to fatten up his beloved beast of burden, the collapse of whose health would wreck his livelihood. One day, when man and donkey were making a delivery on the outskirts of the village, Soap Suds spied something odd in a field by the edge of the jungle. Curious, he left the cart to investigate and was amazed to discover a dead tiger. He had a good knife and a sharpening stone in his cart, so he set about skinning the tiger as fast as he could. When he had finished, he abandoned its carcass and hauled the valuable pelt home, pegging it out to dry. At first he thought he would sell the tiger skin, but then he devised a better plan. He would use the skin to get food for the donkey. This was his idea. Every night he would take the donkey to a field where there was a fresh crop. He would tether and then cover Lovejoy with the tiger skin so the donkey could eat his fill in peace. Any farmer would think he was a tiger and creep away. And indeed, this was exactly how it came to pass. Night after night, the donkey under the tiger skin stuffed his eager face with barley shoots, meadow grass, turnip tops, curly kale, and other munchy bits. Every morning before dawn, Soap Suds crept up and bundled the tiger skin into a sack, then took Beast in secret costume home. Soon Lovejoy grew so plump he could barely fit into his stall. And so terrified was anyone who spotted the disguised donkey in the night that they tiptoed away as quietly and as quickly as they could. Rumors of the tiger spread like wildfire, but no one investigated the matter too closely, being grateful that the tiger seemed to have taken no prey since first being spotted. But some farmers did notice that mysteriously, there seemed to be regular circles of damage to their crops, but there were no tiger prints anywhere. And anyway, who ever heard of a vegetarian tiger? Everything went smoothly for Soap Suds and Lovejoy until one occasion just before midnight. Not far from where our hoofed hero munched away, a lonely she-donkey brayed her misery into the gloom. Now sleek and fed, Lovejoy's amorous appetite was whetted, and he raised his head to bray back a lusty love note. Amazed at such an unexpected reply to her call, the Jenny loudly sent forth more passionate entreaties. And so, an almighty racket of courting nocturnal donkeys aroused several farmers from bed. They threw on their clothes, lit torches, and set forth to resolve the nuisance. Meanwhile, Soap Suds remained obliviously asleep at home in the village. You can well imagine the farmer's annoyance when they found the laundryman's ass hidden under the tiger skin. Not to put too fine a point upon it, they immediately took knives, hoes, shovels, axes, and any other hardy farm instruments and did poor Lovejoy in. The she-donkey never beheld her suitor, and the next day Soap Suds was run out of town and all his goods confiscated by the outraged citizens.